having gone four games without a win. 17th place, Dijon won't have been looking forward to the visit of leaders Paris Saint-Germain on Saturday, although Olivier Deloglio's side did have the luxury of thoroughly preparing for this game during the international break. A number of key players missing for the Parisians, no Thiago Silva, Thiago Motta, Marco Verratti or Edinson Cavani, but they did have the 400 million euro combination of Neymar and Kylian Mbappe in attack. PSG rounded out September in some style, easing to a 3-0 win over Bayern Munich in the Champions League before hitting previously unbeaten Bordeaux for six in Ligue 1 Conferama. And yet it was the host who had the first real chance of the game, Jordan Marier, getting on the end of Naim Sleety's cross but pulling it too far across goal. Dani Alves then saw this free kick come crashing back off the woodwork. That's the tenth time that PSG have hit the crossbar since the start of this season. Now beautifully struck by the Brazilian, not that far off the top corner. So goalless at half-time, the Capital Club stars perhaps a little bit low on energy after helping their national sides qualify for the World Cup over the past ten days or so, especially the South Americans who only got back to Paris late in midweek. That being said, Neymar put in that nice ball there for his fellow Brazilian Marquinhos early in the second half. Crossbar number 11 of the season at 4 PSG. Neymar then coming through on the counter-attack on the hour mark, choosing Mbappe instead of Angel Di Maria. And the young Frenchman forcing a good save from Baptista René. The South Americans combining once again with Alves and Di Maria. Brilliant work from the Argentines to get a ball across, and really Mbappe should have done better. An excellent save from René. Dijon just about hanging in there. But PSG's efforts finally paid off in the 71st minute. Julian Draxler coming forward. Neymar with the effort that was parried by René. But there was Thomas Meunier to sweep in at the back post. And the Belgian international who was about to be substituted off, adding to his goal in the 6-2 win over Bordeaux. He also scored for the Red Devils in their 4-3 win over Bosnia-Herzegovina during the international break. But Dijon responded with what will surely go down as one of the goals of the season. An absolutely stunning strike from Benjamin Chano to make it 1-1 with only three minutes of normal time remaining. An absolutely glorious effort this from Chano. His 17th Ligue 1 Conferama goal and undoubtedly the pick of the bunch. Mbappe would later describe it as the goal of the year. And at this point, the stad at Gaston Girard must surely have been expecting their side to come away with a point. However, PSG had other ideas and they snatched victory at the death. And guess who it was? That man, Thomas Meunier again. The right back who began life as a centre forward before being repositioned early in his career, grabbing his seventh goal this season for club and country and seeding a precious success for PSG deep in stoppage time. The ball just creeping over the line. And a late goal costing Dijon, just as it did in their one all draw against Strasbourg last time out. PSG making the most of Monaco's defeat at Lyon to move six points clear at the top. The next step for Meunier and Co is a trip to his native Belgium to face Anderlecht in the Champions League on Wednesday.